Hello, good morning and welcome to Rob and Susie's Allotment Adventure Part 9. It's uh, July the 30th. Um, happy birthday mum. She's 80 today, bless her. And she's uh, got some new potatoes coming, freshly dug. So we'll show you the progress. And it's been quite, uh, quite noticeable progress for one thing. The wildlife pond. Finally finished, nearly. Just need to get some moss to cover over the edges and get some plants in there. And I'm quite happy with how it's turned out. We've got, a, we've got a ramp beach at the far end so that things can get in and out if anything falls in, unfortunately. If a hedgehog or anything fell in, we'll be able to paddle itself to the side. We'll be able to get out fine things to get in and out, any larvae or anything that happens to make his home in there, a few reused branches that we've trimmed down to put the uh, greenhouse in, oh yeah I'm quite happy with that, had a bit of a thin out up here, there's a lot of thistles Still got the fox gloves to dig in. They'll come again next year. You can see the, the time has gone mad. We've had a bit of a thin out down this side where all the sort of wildflowers were. thin those out and then the brassica cage is full of brassicas some purple cabbage there it's like uh, something's got in and started eating one or two leaves but I think that's part of the course you're bound to get one or two bugs but we've got a self set button of squash in there how that's got in there I do not know, but I'm going to leave it, see what it does. And then we've got the purple sprouting broccoli over here, which is probably trebled in size from three weeks ago when I did the last video. Need to make the netting bigger and wider, but the leaks are going nicely. And then we've got the sweet corn, which again has probably doubled in, trebled in size. Starting to get the flowering bits on the top, beards, whatever you want to call them. We've got the climbing beans coming up the stalks, which is what I want. And then we've got the butternut squash spreading out along the floor, hopefully to keep the weeds down a bit, keep the moisture in. Not that we're having trouble with moisture at the moment, it just seems to rain every day. The new potatoes, we're getting down them rather quickly. I wish I'd put a lot more in, but hey ho, we'll know for next year. The onions, close to being ready to harvest. Some of them are starting to fall over, just the necks. The, these bits go, they start to go floppy, fell over in the wind, but that's not the end of the world. It means that they're putting the goodness down into the bulb. So we just need another, probably another couple of weeks. And the leaves will go brown and then they're probably ready to go. If you look at the size of some of these, fantastic, really good onions. A few carrots starting to come. You can see one's hiding under there, so I don't know what it'll be like when it comes up. It's the joys of growing vegetables, I suppose. A bit like Forrest Gump. 
You don't know what you've got until you dig it up. Potatoes. French beans going nicely. Well, we won't look on that side, it's a little bit of a mess. And then we come to the jungle, formerly known as the polycarbonate greenhouse. Absolutely full to the rafters with tomato plants. And then the biggest grower, the cucumber plants. If you go back and look at the video from three weeks ago, that cucumber directly in front of you, the one nearest to the camera, that was about a foot high and that's now over six foot high. It's gone absolutely nuts. That's a good thing, apart from it's starting to overpower some of the smaller cherry tomato plants next to it. But if all of these become cucumbers, Susie will be a happy girl, because I can't stand cucumbers, but she loves them. It's all gone a bit mad up there, just trying to push the, the roof out. And then down here we have got one sweet pepper so far. It's a decent size, looking a bit deformed, but hey ho. And over here, hopefully if the camera We've got another one coming here. I think that's that's a moreno pepper, so they're the sort that like a, it looks like halfway between a chili and a bell pepper. I think you dry them out and use them in the cooking as a dried thing. But we've got a bit few too many flowers really. These should be pollinated by now. I've had the the greenhouse door open for three or four days trying to get some insects in here to pollinate them you can do it with a paintbrush but I would, don't really know what I'm doing so I'll end up messing it up and breaking them I might have a word with my mate Billy you can see we've put this cable across like I said I was going to do Just screwed it into the frame got some some wire and then wrap it around the stalk so this is all nice it's pretty solid it's not going to fall over thankfully. Let me put one across here so it's everything's tied in together to take the weight of these big tomato plants. Got some little ones growing. We've got some more down here but we'll get there. There are some more. I don't have to have a bit of a thin out of the foliage and that's that's my job in a minute get the tomato plant mixed in watering can there you go a quick look round today well thanks for watching I'm gonna have a quick water up and then go home and then out for tea with a birthday girl down the pub for fish and chips so favourite to do so don't forget to like and subscribe guys thanks for watching bye